there once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode in the Aftershock Toolbox and Servaganza playthrough. This time around, we're going to be checking out Theater 3, which um, is interesting because even though it's called Welcome to Theater 3, I I'm assuming this is going to be a lot like um, the last level we checked out, which the last level we checked out was Prey 3, which was basically a remake of Prey. And so I assume Theater 3 is going to be a remake of Deep Flick is showing now, aka Flick would be the file name. Um, so either A, it's going to be a totally different level that just conveniently involves another theater, or the fact that Mary, it's actually um, Deep Flick is showing now and they renamed it Theater and now it's Theater 3. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's actually load this thing up and see what God's name what we have this time. Hmm. What exactly is the mystery of the world? So let's see, theater three. Apparently it's not the British spelling. Interesting. Theater three, okay, there we are. Wait, think I get, bite, bite. Okay, and yeah, it is Deep Flick is showing now, and my God, is it been changed around a little bit. Yep, like I can recognize it, but at the same time, it looks also very complex this time around. Promising. This wasn't here before. What's in this room? Besides, um, death. Obviously there's death in here, but other than that... I mean, one minor problem is the lack of ammo already. Seems like this area's been made big, and oh my god, visual glitches! Look at that, there's a lot of visual glitches. There's also these windows. There's no grunts in there this time. I stand corrected, there is a grunt in there! Hello, I'm going door to door to murder you all! Thunderbolt? I don't remember there actually being a Thunderbolt before. I think it was like, didn't exist or anything. Oh my god, there's two shamblers! Thank god for all these weapons! <laughs> so let's kill the ogre so we can get that green armor. But these side areas weren't here in the last one. They can benefit me. Oh god! I can barely see what's going on. Just like before, we want to stand here. Is that it? Just three? Well, that's a bit anti anticlimactic, but okay. I shall pretend this is everything. Okay, explosive containers. Now, uh, there is obviously the two shamblers. I could stand right here and pot shot them to death. That way, I could conserve the quad damage. Which is probably a smart idea, knowing this level. If it's like the other deep flick, you want to conserve. So, we'll keep these two quad damages here. I believe there was two in the other one, actually. A lot more radioactive containers, even though they don't really serve much of a purpose. That's it, just there's another way over there. Not doing well at aiming here. Okay, there we are. Looks like the shambles are even more stuck than the noble deep flick. Well, hooray for being able to take advantage of them. Amazing. Okay, there, there is at least a good start. It's only 12 of the enemies though, so we have a lot of pain to deal with. Is that a door? Yes, it is. It's a little tiny room that leads somewhere. It's the bathrooms! By that, I mean, it's really the bathrooms. But, like, enemies get stuck and stuff, and... Interesting. They really built up a bit more from the last time. I like it. There's actually more room to explore and things to do in this one than there was in the other version. Uh, maybe this back bar area will actually have a purpose in this one. So in the last one, it was really, really useless back here. Nice, it's all lit up, and there's a way forward, even, looks like. Oh wow, a rocket launcher in the frontal area that looks like that's the theater. Okay, this is probably a bad place to be. Let's retreat. It's ways in and out of the bar. As you see, there's plenty of enemies around here. It's going to be a matter of like dealing with the overwhelming odds. Now what's down here? There's like two doors. Some extra shells. All these little convenient side rooms. 
Definitely gonna have a lot to explore and um, talk about, definitely. And that's the normal way. But this whole thing is like a totally different way. Oh my god, it's like multiple movie screens all over the place. Oh god, this, this thing is lowering! This thing is lowering, what's behind it? Just an ogre. Well that was a bit anticlimactic, but okay. Amazing, and now we got red armor, we got quad damage. We're ready to kick some butt, actually, because we have three quad damages lying around. I probably should use one. Yeah, let's see what's exactly around the nearby area. Let's try to like, wipe out all these guys. Since you see, there's like plenty of random enemies just to wipe out. Opens elsewhere! Oh no! That's not what I needed! I need... Oh god, I didn't... I didn't mean to walk into another quad damage. There's conveniently quad damages everywhere! I don't know if this is good or bad! Quick upstairs! There might be something useless up here. Or it might just be a totally useless dead end! Hooray! I'm not really sure what the benefit of this is, but um, I shall pretend like I understand. Well, there's a boar up there. That, that, that's not exactly good. Okay, I don't like this at all. Sim, I am. I said I don't like this. Okay, there's plenty of quad damages out here, but, um, yeah, this is bloody evil. At least that wipes out him. We're still alive, but we definitely could use some more resources. There is that red armor if we go back. Huh. Or we could go right down here and there's another red armor. There's plenty of resources here in this level, so that that's luckily the good news. I'm not really concerned when there's a... Oh my god, how many quad damages can you put in one map? Look at this. All these are quad damages. Something tells me we're not going to need to worry about conserving quad damages, people. Why do I get the feeling like this is the exit? I don't like this. This random convenient little button randomly down here. I'm gonna leave that button for the time being just because I think it might be the exit. At least until I see something that tells me different. Okay, these clear out the upper balconies. The only thing left to really do is, um, well, uh, murder everything violently in the rest of the map. Right, back to the first area, and um, start moving this way and see what's down this corridor. Still plenty of angry grunts, so... Something down there. Could be a little charge up here to wherever this is, and um... It's a trap! Convenient trap, though. Give me free health! I like this trap. This is probably the worst trap ever because it actually made me better than I was before. And look at Nail Gun. Not much ammo for it, though. This looks like a movable wall of some kind. I see it is. Lots of little hidden areas and... Opens elsewhere! Well, I found that elsewhere. I found the grenade launcher, too. I see! This is a window over the previous area. Wait a minute, this isn't the previous area? This is some random area! But death! Or, um... I'm not really sure, I'm kinda lost a bit. But there's all these buttons, so let's press them! I don't know what I'm doing! It just hit buttons, and hopefully they cause something to happen. Be something spectacular and amazing and not destructive in any way. I probably just messed up everything. Huh. 
You know, I think I turned off some lights. Just saying, I think I found the light switches. Okay, they were one-time switches. Well, if they were the light switches, I have no way to repair them. So, um, yeah, I guess I gotta live with that consequence of turning off light switches like that. Let's see here. There's still a bunch of quad images to use. And we still have all the other side to check out. Really, that's my only real goal is, um, kill everything in the map and then hopefully... Alright, this is open up to reveal another deadly trap with nothing in it. Well, this was useful. Convenient, more things dead and me this much closer to victory. Oh look, I found a hidden armor area. Well, that's convenient enough. I swear this is like designed up to Duke Nukem, but yeah, it's so chaotic that like I have no idea where in God's name I'm going. Look, another quad damage. Grenade launcher. The grenade launcher could be useful, I guess. Edzet. Okay, I found the Edzet. Obviously, this is not the way I want to go. I want to go the opposite way because we still have things to clear out. But at least now I know there's another red set. Wait, what? Okay, maybe the exits are lies. Wait a minute. I think the exits are lies, people. Yep, they're all bloody lies. Just like in the other one, the bloody exits are all lies. I feel betrayed, game. I love how much more chaotic this particular version is compared to the original. Like, there wasn't any of this in the original version. It's like they really, like, copy-pasted the original, made it in all these complicated ways together, and repeated this type of design over and over. Which, in a way, actually kind of works, because it leads to a lot more gameplay than the original had. You know, it extends the gameplay to make it, in a way, a lot better. Now the question is, where exactly are, like, the other ten enemies? That's kind of part of the difficulty, trying to figure out where in God's name I'm going in here. This is a noble staircase. A.K.A. the one that was in the vanilla game, and oh god, there's a crusher! Huh. Found the silver key card, which is convenient enough. It's a ring of shadows, like in the other one. I said this is basically the normal area. Whatever that entails. Now, um, we still have eight enemies. Huh. Where are these last eight enemies? That's not good. I don't like the fact that there's still eight missing enemies in this map. Hmm. Well, this is where a quad damage might come in handy because I might need it to see in the dark areas. We're looking for an enemy. Where or where are these stupid enemies at? Okay, this here. This is totally useless. Um, we need to search around because we need to find eight enemies in this map. I think I found them! Yeah, it's a bit of an awkward corner, but as you see, that was four of the enemies right there. Super nail gun and double barrel shotgun, so there's the super nail gun finally. And we have here, which is totally useless. I'm glad we came here. It, it, it felt really eventful. Okay, so um, we found four of the enemies. But we still have some missing enemies in this map. Hmm. So have four to go. Which begs the question, where exactly are they? Can't exactly rest until we have all the enemies, right? Let's see, let's hug this wall. I think like this door couldn't open before? Yeah, I think this was like sealed before. Okay, here's a little hidden area. Hidden area again. 
Now these seem to be doing anything for me, but um Trying to figure out where exactly to go. Oh, well, it's hug the walls. This seems the best strategy here, if there's any. It's like hug walls and um, try and figure out where exactly I'm kind of going. Oh look, I found the gold key card. Well, that's convenient. I don't know why I didn't tap that before, but um, it's there. Now, let's see here. We need to find our way to um, the last four enemies. Where in God's name are they? Okay, there's three enemies, but that's beside the point. Four enemies, three enemies, there's enemies. And they're somewhere. And I must kill them. I must find them, and I must kill them. Let's see, there's that way, which leads into a large central area, but that's not what I need. There's here, but this also leads to the same area that... Wasn't there like a button somewhere around here? Yeah, I remember I was seeing a button, and I was like, I, I'm going to avoid pressing it because... Okay, it sounded like I just opened something on this side or something, I don't know. I know I just opened. Game? Brilliant, I pressed the button, I don't know what I opened. That's part of the problem, this level's so freaking big that I don't know what I'm doing half the time. So let's head down this way, I guess. I really don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. There's gotta be somewhere I need to go. Oh, where or where am I supposed to go in this level? Play, play game's gonna torment me now. This is not what I needed, game. I just wanted a simple, happy, dory, simple story, whatever you call it. And said now I'm wandering around aimlessly, trying to find these play godforsaken three enemies. I mean, I have a million one quad damages, but I can't find the enemies. This is quickly becoming a doom map. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I want, I want the enemies. There's three enemies. There's somewhere. I don't know where they are. There's three of them. Okay, I'd be missing three obvious enemies. The obvious if I don't miss them. Hmm. This is a good question. We must wander this way, because obviously it's not the other way. Let's see, um, we have more quad damages up here, which, um, serve no real purpose. There's a bunch of other stuff that also serves no purpose. Here we have the useless elevator. Here we have a way that leads to, um, totally useless area. Are you happy that we came down here and saw this totally useless thing? I'm appreciative of our time spent together look at useless stuff. See, so let's go this way. Down here, and this leads to another door which leads down to another room that overlooks the other area we were at before. And, um, as you see, totally useless. Much as it turns out, it's like sealed in some area I can't get to. Because, you know, this game hates me. I mean, seriously, how am I supposed to know where I'm supposed to be going at this point? It feels like this map is so confusing. I have all the guns. I have all the key cards. I've done pretty much everything. Whatever I'm missing is like a really, really small detail on this map. Like a really, like... blinking you'll miss type thing. And I don't like that. Wait, what's this? It's a secret little area with a grenade launcher. That achieved nothing. But it sure made me feel better. So, um... Yeah, game. About all this. I don't really know where I'm going at this point. I, I need some idea where I'm going. Is it... You know, because it feels like there's so many bloody rooms that I'm not sure. I need something. I need to see... You know what? Let's hug the outer walls. I don't think that's something I tried. And it's worth an attempt because I didn't really spend too, too much time to vote out here because... 
This is the last area kind of would look. And it seems like there's nothing out here. Well, that's brilliant. This was a total investment of my time. Okay, this is two of the enemies, but there's still a third. Curse you, game! I, I, you were so close to being happy. And there's still an enemy somewhere on this map. Isn't that mockery right there? If, it, if I haven't seen it. There's one enemy on the map, and I don't know where he is. Alright, back to the hunt. There's one enemy. If I was an enemy and I was hidden in this giant freaking map of chaos, where would I have myself? This map is way too annoying with its, like, chaoticness. You know, this is like a Doom chaotic style map. I don't like it. I think I actually prefer the simple in nature before because that wasn't so frustrating to try and find everything. You know, it feels like this is like over the top and how much it's trying to like throw in there to a point that ends up becoming frustrating to navigate. Now, um, I'm not really sure. Is that something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, this is something. How's one get in here? Yeah, see, this is the thing. I thought it was. I saw the window. Oh. Well, that would explain a lot. It's this hidden wall area up here. Yeah, it is slightly different. Yeah, it, it, this map just has way too many little random turns and... I don't even think there's a level I'd set, so, um, yeah, amazing. So there's your level. You want a level? There's your level. So it's basically like Deep Flick is showing now. It's up to a lot more complex, a lot more confusing, and in a way a lot more frustrating because it's a lot more easy to miss something in one of these little dead-end turns and then spend a lot of time wandering around trying to find where that last bloody enemy is. And honestly, I'm not really a big fan of something like that. I, I prefer, you know, the action of, you know, the challenge of trying to get somewhere as opposed to spending a bunch of time to find a weak mook in a giant map. You know, that, that, that second one just never really is that appealing. It never feels that satisfying, the end result. It ends up getting, becoming more stressful than anything or whatnot because you spend a lot of time hunting and then you find it and it's pretty much in just a little dead end corner that you pretty much end up feeling like you were cheated out of. Um, so yeah, not really much I can even really say about I mean, it's not, you know, the end of the world. I probably, if I had, like, looked a little bit better, maybe I could have found it better. But, um, yeah, um, honestly, I'm just not a big fan of, you know, the chaoticness of this level. <laughs> it reminds me way too much of, like, Doom or something like that. And this is exactly why I'm not a big fan of, like, Doom levels in general. And I think that's kind of a big problem with a lot of these, um, Quake levels. For some reason, they're really trying to, do, like, repeat what they were doing with Doom P-Wads. And that's not exactly the best of things to try and repeat. I, I don't want it to go that route. Um, I want more recognizable areas, not giant mazes of the same thing over and over and over. And that's pretty much exactly what we got here. Anyway, there's really not much more to talk about. It's a lot like Deep Flick is showing now, but it is basically the more complex, convoluted, chaotic, and nonsensical version of it. Um, so... Pretty much everything I said about that one stands, um, but yeah, it's basically a lot more frustra frustrating in its own way because, you know, a bunch of areas with pointless dead ends. So, yeah, n not really much to say. It's not the most spectacular levels, but it is a level to play, and I guess it, you know, is one of the better levels here because it does allow for a lot of, like, playability. It does allow for a bit of time to clear it out. Which, at this point, is rather nice when we've had levels that pretty much take, like, a few seconds to complete. So having something where you need to spend a little bit of time hunting around the enemies might actually be good filler for something, say, like, um, a cooperative level or something like that. Um, where extra firepower means you overpower everything with kind of ease. But for a single-player level, th this just doesn't really feel like my cup of tea at all. It's not really what I want. Um, so, yeah. Not really much more to say. Thank you all for watching, people. It has been an adventure, and I shall see you all next time.